Here's a collection of actual crimes committed by really dumb criminals. Just sit back and enjoy the insanity as we present. Stupid crime stories, you just won't believe. In 2014, a UK man went to a Barclays bank branch to inform them that he had changed his address. In other words, he was one of their customers. After giving them his updated information, he left. But just 30 minutes later, the man returned to the bank. This time he was wearing a hooded jacket with sunglasses. He also wore socks over his shoes, which only made him look more obvious. He then walked up to the teller window holding a bread knife and demanded money. The teller, seeing the simple weapon didn't panic. She later said that the man was not shouting. He just sounded desperate, but not angry or agitated. She then pressed the panic button while attempting to keep the situation calm. An elderly man in his 70s was also in the bank. He pulled out his wallet and attempted to pacify the robber by offering him money. But when the suspect heard that employees were about to lock the doors, he ran out with nothing. The bank was then closed while they waited for police to arrive. Employees even made a cup of tea for the elderly man. Since the robber had just given the bank his address, police were able to arrest 27-year-old Dean Smith at his home. Clearly his lousy disguise didn't help him. Smith later admitted to police that it was stupid and he was very sorry. However, he was desperate for money. He said he was tempted after seeing the bank drawers full of money during his earlier visit. The judge sentenced Smith to two and a half years for attempted robbery and carrying a bladed weapon. He also had to pay a fine of about $150. In 2010, a Canadian woman in Calgary called police to report a burglary. When police arrived, they said the woman was hysterical. However, she was able to provide a list of all the items that were stolen. It included everything from jewelry to electronics. The woman then explained to the officer that one of her windows had been smashed in, indicating that the burglar came through the window. The person taking the report was named Officer Maharu. He was an immigrant from India. Keep that point in mind. As he was writing the report, the woman received a phone call. It was from her father. She then proceeded to explain to him what was going on. The entire phone conversation was spoken in French. During that call, the woman made some shocking revelations. She told her father that the police were at her home investigating a burglary. However, she said that she and her boyfriend had staged the whole incident. They were planning to file a false claim and collect the insurance money. Meanwhile, Officer Maharu continued writing his report. The woman assumed he didn't understand French, so she spoke freely in front of him. After she hung up the phone, Maharu smiled at her. Then, Speaking fluent French, he said, Merci beaucoup. When translated in English it means, thank you very much. No doubt, the look on her face was priceless. Officer Maharu later said, she didn't expect a brown guy to speak French. In fact, he speaks seven languages. The police department uses him to translate witness statements, listen to audio tapes, and solve disputes when there is a language barrier. He said that one of his most rewarding cases involved a woman in an abusive marriage for 16 years. Whenever she called police, she was unable to effectively explain her situation due to a language barrier. However, once Officer Maharu was hired, he was able to fully understand her situation. Her husband was later convicted of abuse. As for the woman who confessed her crime on the phone, she was arrested and charged with criminal mischief. In 2013, a young man in the UK thought he had outsmarted the legal system. He believed he could only be charged with burglary if he committed the crime at night. So he figured he'd simply sneak into a house in the daytime. The home he chose was his own mother's house. He actually did this while she was home. His mother found him attempting to enter through a first floor window after removing a screen. Obviously, Burglarizing his mother's house was a dumb idea as she could easily identify him. It was also reported that she had kicked him out after an argument about three months earlier. She told police that he didn't have any possessions in the home. Upon being discovered by his mother, the young man fled the scene. 
When police arrived, a neighbor informed them that he had seen a man running behind a nearby home. Police later found the 22-year-old suspect hiding in a crawl space not far from his mother's house. After taking him into custody, the Eastlake Police Department posted this statement on their Facebook page. As you can see, he clearly thought he couldn't be arrested if he committed the crime in the daytime. Perhaps he was thinking of the original common law definition of burglary, which reads, the breaking and entering of the house of another in the nighttime, with intent to commit a felony therein. But the law was written in the 17th century by Sir Edward Coke, a jurist in England. Since then, the definition has been expanded to include any time of day. It seems odd that someone would think they were free to burglarize if it was done before dark. But dumb criminals never cease to amaze us. While the young man was initially arrested on felony burglary charges, he pleaded guilty to a reduced charge of breaking and entering. He was fined $100 and sentenced to six months in prison. However, the judge allowed four of the months to be served as a suspended sentence. In 2020, a burglar broke into a house in Nashville, Tennessee. He gained entry by smashing through a glass on the back door. Once inside, he managed to steal multiple items including a television, two handguns, and a black Gibson Les Paul custom guitar. As you can see, these guitars are very, very expensive. While investigating this crime, police made a surprising discovery. The burglar had dropped a major piece of evidence. It was a notebook that contained a list of the homes he had robbed and others he planned to hit later. Police then viewed surveillance video of burglaries in the area and noticed that they matched the list in the notebook. Thus, they were able to link this suspect to other unsolved crimes in the area. Now they just needed to find him. Well, this is where it gets very interesting. It turns out that this guy was too cheap to even buy his own notebook. Instead, he used his daughter's personal journal to record his crimes. When officers looked inside, they saw notes written by the suspect's daughter, as well as her name and address. Of course, this made it very easy to identify and find the suspect. Once he was located, they were able to match him to surveillance video footage. 49-year-old Robert Goddard was caught on video kicking in a back door of another house. This was just one day after dropping the notebook. Apparently he had already memorized his next targets. Police now had all the evidence they needed. Goddard was arrested and held at Davidson County Jail on a $15,000 bond for felony burglary and theft charges. As for the homeowner's very expensive guitar, Goddard said he had sold it to a music store for $40. That disclosure had to be devastating news to the victim. While the police report doesn't indicate whether Goddard was a drug addict, selling that guitar for next to nothing sounds rather desperate. On the other hand, it was a real steal for the music store. But since it was sold to a business rather than on the street, it's very likely the owner got the guitar back. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Our weekly videos will feature such topics as stupid crime stories, classic TV, and the real stories behind popular songs from the past and present. There will be even more categories as we continue to grow.